Welcome back, my sandworms. I've got a rant for you guys. Today we're going to be ranting about the Dune Sentinels. This is going to be my longest review by far of any tower. Okay, just straight up. So, get ready for it. First of all, they're kind of weird and hard to use, but that does not mean they're actually that hard to use. They're just hard to use if you're stupid. <laughs> okay, I... Uh, so anyways, let, let's jump in here. First of all, according to this, attack is pretty pretty good. Uh, cooldown is pretty low, which is awesome. And then we got uh, mid-range. All very reasonable. Okay. But this is where it gets goofy. We either have to pick a grouped attack thing, which is fine and fair. Does damage um, for multiple seconds, kind of on the screen here. Good group damage out of any a regular attack damage tower is awesome. So that doesn't exist very often over here. And then we've got the bounty hunt, which is the possibly the, I don't want to say the most confusing, but the thing you have to think about the most on whether or not it's worth it to buy or not buy compared to any other ability in the game. So... Let's jump into it and show it off. Again, I don't want to say that you are uh, bad for being confused about this, but you really do have to think about how you want to use it to utilize it properly. And if you do a good job with it, you're going to be rolling around in happiness. But if you do a bad job with it, you're going to be like, wow, this thing freaking sucks. <laughs> so anyways, um, Dune Sentinels. What I would do is, first of all, they're very, very cheap. Their regular attack is actually really, really low. If you look at it, it's like super duper, duper low. 6 to 10, 10 to 14, even at the 4th tier, 10, 16 to 25, that's terrible. But you have to realize that we bounce. We bounce to four enemies, so that, that attack here is actually going to make a lot of sense. Now, what we're going to do is whenever I'm building Dune Sentinels, this is my, my plan. I build them on level 1, wave 1, every single time. And I go 1, 2, and 3. I buy 3 level uh, upgrades here on the bounty hunts as soon as I possibly can because I want to be earning extra gold. Now, what's interesting about this is you might be thinking that the bounty hunt itself, uh, it should give you the exact same amount of gold, whether you're first tier, second tier, or third tier, based on the fact that it gives you 4, 8, and 12 gold, or 250, 250, and 250. But, that is not completely accurate, because it's easier to kill units if you have a higher damage bounty hunt blade. The official blade that's going to kill things is going to give you more kills if you make that happen. So to make this uh, 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 actually work, what you gotta do is stall and stun the guys as much as possible in your area range, and then get the kill hit with your high level bounty hunt. That's the goal. Kill the people with your high level bounty hunt, you're gonna be making mad gold. Now it takes about 60 kills to pay for itself. And I talk about paying for itself, like that's a, an important thing, but not 100% necessary to necessarily pay for yourself, but, you can decide if you want at near the end of the game, if this isn't a useful uh, upgrade for you to do that little bit of extra damage. Maybe you want to sell it and go for a Dwarven Flamesbitter or something really good artillery style uh, later on in the game. That's totally fair. You can make that happen. So uh, if you're going to go for a bounty hunt, though, usually you don't want to just go for one. You probably want to try to push it to the limit and go for maybe two of them as soon as you possibly can to make this do just uh, uh, a little bit more gold production for you. It's risky. Don't get me wrong. But by the end of the game, you're going to be rolling around in freaking money. Another weird thing about this tower is the fact that you can't use a lot of other towers near it. Otherwise, you will not get the benefits out of it. If all the other towers are killing these guys, you're not going to make the money. You're not going to make the bounty hunt. You're not going to get the bounty. So, uh, uh, you don't have to be, like, really, really mindful of how you use it to be effective with it. Anyway, the, the weirdest thing about this tower is that if you are going bounty hunt, you usually do not want to get anything else. You just want to go straight for bounty hunts, straight for regular attacks. Try to clean. Oh, he's got 36 gold with a single attack, by the way. That was cool. Um, and you don't want to use the other abilities, which is, is goofy. It's stupid. It's like, what? No, that doesn't make any sense. I should be getting bounties for any attack, but it's not the case. It's not like every single attack gives you a bounty. It's only the specific gold regular attack here. So I know I'm really hammering this thing down, but I feel like a lot of people are going to be confused about it, and I don't want people to be. So, if you are going Dune Sentinels, this is the best plan of action. Get as many Dune Sentinels as you can, up to uh, Bounty Hunt as soon as you possibly can, and then when you start killing the units, you're going to be pretty happy here, because you'll be making lots and lots of gold. But I don't want to not buy the Whirling Doom, because I at least have to show this off to officially say that I've, I've, I've shown it off here, and I uh, can uh, do an okay job with it. Um, any which way, we're gonna actually, I'm just gonna jump, I'm gonna jump to wave 5. This is what it's all about, when you get something like this happening. When you get a gold attack on these guys, you're gonna bounce around and do mega damage and literally kill these guys, especially if you had a triple dip in, you'd get like, I don't know, freaking 100 plus gold out of these guys, which is pretty freaking amazing. But we have to show off, lastly, the Whirling Doom here. Again, it's not usually beneficial to go for Whirling Doom on top of uh, uh, these guys because you're killing units that you would have otherwise killed with this thing. But it doesn't mean it's a terrible upgrade to get automatically. It's just you kind of have to pick or choose which one you want to go for. Um, that being said, 
uh, it's pretty solid across the board. Uh, I, I would definitely upgrade these guys if I wasn't going for these things at all. Or you could sell and rebuy and just buy a bunch of these guys as well. Um, the last thing about this tower that I'm going to mention is that it's not a good cleanup tower. So if you just have uh, one of these guys in the back back here, you probably don't want to do that because there's usually not a crap ton of units to, to bounce around between in the back of the map. It's usually one guy sneaking through, two guys sneaking through, kind of different paths or something like that. A really fast guy trying to sneak through. Unless there's a big group of guys coming through like this, you're not going to get the bounce damage out of it. And that is going to be really, really weak. Three to five damage on a single unit is not a lot. So uh, either which way... That's all you got. All I got for you guys. Hopefully, this is a uh, uh, a fair representation of the tower. The last thing I'm gonna do is just tell you guys a rating. I am gonna give the Dune Sentinels a rating. You may not like it, but I have to give it. I'm gonna give it a solid 8.5. It's a very good tower. It's very unique and fun, and the bounty hunt makes things really interesting to really try to bounty hunt people. So, um, uh, it seems fair. It seems reasonable, and I I like playing with the tower just straight up. I don't think it's amazing or overpowered or anything like that. I think it's pretty fair overall, but I like playing with it, which makes um, uh, the game more fun any which way. So if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments below why I'm an idiot and why this tower is either way, way worse or significantly better than I'm saying. Uh, but if you do agree with me, press the like button, subscribe, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.